Wedding invitations are, if you don't do a save the date card, the first thing that your guests will see, and it will completely set the tone for your wedding. It needs to include colors, textures, of, is it formal, is it informal. Really let your guests know what they're in store for just by the way it looks and feels. Um, a really neat thing to do, I just came across this, there is a website online where you can submit your handwriting and they will turn it into a font. So if your bride has really cool handwriting, have her write some things out, turn it into a font and use that, have that printed on your wedding invitation envelopes. People will think, hey, Sue just sent me an invitation, how cool is that? And she didn't have to address 250 invitations herself nor did she have to pay a calligrapher to do it for her. Another personalized touch. Is someone in your family a calligraphist? If so, ask them if they would mind doing your invitations for you. It really means more to them than it probably does to you. They're helping you with one of the biggest days of your life. Let them help you, especially if it's reasonable. It's a really nice thing for you. It will save you some money and it looks beautiful. Uh, the last piece of advice I can offer when it comes to your wedding invitations and the envelopes would be once you pick out what you like, once you've decided and they're ordered, do your research. Go to the post office. Go to USPS.com. Make sure you know that your invitation is mailable. Check the sizing. If your invitation is a square, the regulations are different from a rectangle. The same goes for a circle. These pieces have to be hand sorted. Extra postage will be involved and there are size requirements. So save yourself a lot of time, a lot of money, a lot of heartache. Just make sure you do your research. It's perfectly acceptable to send them that way. It's often a very neat design. Make sure you know how much it'll cost you and the size that they should be.